I'm going to use the TI-84 to find the probability that a random variable that is normally distributed with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 15 is less than 107. So I went ahead and sketched the bell curve, put 100 in the middle, and indicated along the horizontal axis where x is, and that's above the mean, which is above, one, uh, above 100. And because I'm finding a probability of less than, I'm shading to the left. To get this corresponding probability using the calculator, you're going to go to your distribution menu, select or scroll down to normal CDF. Our lower bound is theoretically negative infinity, so you can leave it like this, as this means negative 1 times 10 to the 99th power, a very small number, or you can put in negative 1 with several zeros after. Um, the upper bound is 107. Now I'm not working with standard normal. I could have converted this x value to a z-score first by subtracting the mean and dividing by the standard deviation, but it is quicker to use technology and just change mu and sigma to match your problem and entering. And you'll see the sequence that you need for the calculator if you have a lower, or, sorry, an older TI-84. It's lower bound, comma, upper bound, comma, mu, comma, sigma. Enter again. And you'll see the corresponding probability rounding to two decimal places is 0.68. I expected this probability to be greater than 0.5 because that x value is above the mean.